Hi everyone, this is Colleen Francis from Engage Selling. Thanks for joining me on today's Sales Leader Strategy. Over the last few months, have, as people have not been traveling in lockdown, there have been a lot of companies doing product training. And I'm not opposed to product training, but it's really critical that we don't pitch product features to our customers. What we need to do is transition the training into value training. Whether you want to call that the benefits or the value that the customer is receiving or the solution that they're getting from your product. And I want you to think about it in these two ways, tangible and intangible value. So the value that your product brings, the solution that it creates, is going to have both a tangible and an intangible benefit, right? The intangible might be reduced stress or improved employee morale or improved customer satisfaction. The tangible could be a 33% return on investment or a savings of $15,000. So we want to think about in terms of tangible, intangible. We also want you to think about value in terms of internal versus external or maybe corporate versus personal. So what's the value that you're bringing to the buyer, the person you're talking to personally, and also what's the value that you're bringing to the company? Because those could be two different things. And in fact, there's a third component of value that I want you to think about that people often forget about. Value isn't just about solving a problem. That's the thing as salespeople we tend to go to market with. Here's your problem, here's my solution, here's how much we're gonna save you or, or make you. What we want also is to think about the positive side of that. What is the customer trying to gain? Maybe they don't have a problem, but they're trying to achieve something differently. What more can they get? So if we think about solving problems, but also creating more, right? Leveraging something they're doing already, we have another access of value that you can use. So transition your conversations to value. What solution are you bringing to the customer and how do they benefit from it? That will change the dynamic of the conversations with your having with your customers and of course help you close more business. Thanks for joining me on today's sales leader strategy. For more discussions on topics just like this, visit us now at engageselling.com.